Today we'll be looking at how to create an inventory item in our central production kitchen or commissary and its relationship with sale items. Setting both of these up correctly from the get-go is crucial to ensuring proper communication between a commissary and its network stores. The difference between an inventory item and a sale item is simple. Inventory items are products that I buy from my external suppliers, where sale items are what is sold or offered by my central production kitchen to my brick and mortar stores. There are two ways to populate your market man account with supplier products or your inventory items. Today we'll be looking at how to create them within market man. This is most useful when adding a handful of items to a supplier that might already exist in your account. If you want to better understand how to properly fill out our bulk upload Excel file, you will probably want to check out our video in our help and support section or on our YouTube channel. In order to begin creating a new inventory item, we want to click on Inventory, Inventory Items. From there, we want to select the green Add button on the right hand side. We'll select our supplier and we'll name our item. We can also add a category, storage areas, or product codes. In this case, I buy a loaf of whole wheat bread from Best Buns Bakery, which comes in a pack of 12 slices for $10. We have now completed creating an inventory item. This product will either be used to produce a new product or sold as is to our stores. In this case, this product is something we buy in bulk and then sell in smaller quantities to our stores. Creating my sale item from the inventory item we just created is simple. All we're going to do is scroll down and click on the advanced button. Then we'll check the box for sale and fill out all the information on how we sell this item to our stores. We'll name the item. In this case, the name is the same. We'll put the quantity, which is half a loaf. And then in this case, I've selected to sell the item at cost. However, there will be cases in the central production facility where you want to make a profit on your product. In this case, you have the option to choose manual price and then put in your sale price. Once finished, click the save button. Your inventory item will now be available for purchase from your suppliers and your sale item is created for individual stores to order and count. Remember, setting up sale items and inventory items is very simple and can be done on your computer. If you have any questions, please visit our website, marketman.com, or email us at support at marketman.com.